Hello, World Health Organization Global Action Network on Nutrition Labeling members. It is a great privilege to have the opportunity to speak to you about our Health Star Rating Front of Pack Labeling System. This is the first seminar for our WHO Action Network. My name is Crystal Lemus and I'm the Director of Food and Nutrition Policy in the Australian Government Department of Health. Today, I would like to talk to you about our Health Star Rating System, which recently underwent a five-year evaluation. In Australia, like many other countries, packaged food products must carry a nutrition information panel and ingredients list. While this information is important, a comprehensive review of food labelling found that many people don't have the time or knowledge to interpret this information. In 2009, Australia and New Zealand food ministers agreed to a comprehensive review of food labelling law and policy. The final review report was provided to food ministers in 2011. One of the recommendations of this report was that an interpretive front of pack labelling system should be developed as one of several preventative health initiatives designed to improve dietary intakes. The intent was to help people to make better informed, healthier choices quickly and easily when comparing similar types of packaged foods. In December 2011, Australian and New Zealand food ministers agreed to an easily understood interpretive front of pack labelling scheme for packaged foods. In 2012, the Food Regulation Secretariat in the Australian Government Department of Health established various committees to perform research and develop various technical aspects of the front of pack labelling scheme. Representatives comprise government officials, industry, public health and consumers. In 2014, the Australian and New Zealand food ministers endorsed the Health Star rating system to be voluntarily implemented in Australia and New Zealand for an initial period of five years. The Health Star rating system is an example of a program that was designed for purpose in response to an identified need. Following identification of the issue, which in Australia and New Zealand was an increase in overweight and obesity and the increased consumption of foods high in energy, saturated fat, sugar and sodium. A review of the evidence suggested that there was nothing in existence that would be fit for purpose and so the development of the system from scratch was instigated. The Health Star rating system considers the overall nutritional profile of a product and assigns a rating from half a star to five stars. It is intended for processed packaged foods where nu nutritive quality is often unclear or confusing. It is important to note that is, it is designed for comparison of foods within the same category. For example, to compare two different types of yogurt. It is not intended to compare different categories of foods. For example, comparing a yogurt to a breakfast cereal. The objective of the Health Star rating system is to provide convenient, relevant and readily understood information to assist consumers to make informed food purchases and healthier eating choices. The system is underpinned by the Health Star Rating Calculator, which manufacturers use to calculate the Health Star Rating of their products. The algorithm driving the Health Star Rating Calculator is a nutrient profiling model that assesses certain negative components, for example, energy, saturated fat, sodium and total sugars, and positive components, for example, fiber, protein, and fruit, vegetables, nuts, and legume content to produce an objective score. Health Star rating scores are then scaled to one of the six relevant food categories to account for natural differences between food types. The algorithm has been optimized to highlight differences between similar products and ratings provide relative, not absolute indicators of nutritional quality. There are no fees incurred by industry to adopt the Health Star rating system beyond the cost of incorporating the Health Star rating onto labels. Industries are able to apply or remove the system as they choose. 
The system is funded by the Australian, State and Territory and New Zealand governments. The National Heart Foundation of Australia has been engaged to monitor the implementation of the Health Star rating system in Australia. This work includes an assessment of consumer awareness and use of the system, compliance with the system guidance, and the nutrient status of products displaying the system. The Heart Foundation performed data analysis collected by utilising their food track database, which contains data such as product descriptors, nutrition information panels, ingredients lists, front of pack labels, and images of products from fresh and packaged foods in major Australian supermarkets. Uptake of the system has been good. As of June 2019, there are a total of 15,252 products, including 136 multipacks that display the Hellstar rating system graphic. This is a 15.2% increase from the October-November 2018 period. We also monitor compliance aspects of the Hellstar rating system, with recent findings showing that 90.5% compliance with adherence to the Hellstar rating system style guide and 90.8% compliance with the Hellstar rating calculator. Implementation of the Hellstar rating system in Australia has been supported by an awareness campaign. This is being conducted primarily via digital and out-of-home advertising. A new campaign, launched in February 2019, provided television coverage for the first time. Consumer awareness has steadily increased since the implementation of the Hellstar rating system. Our most recent figures indicate that 62% of Australian consumers are aware of the system unprompted. 83.3% of consumers are aware of the Health Star rating system when prompted. The groups where awareness is highest are females, younger people, university educated people, those of normal weight, those with high incomes and households with children. Trust in the system has also increased. By year four of implementation, 58.4% trust the system at and even more find it credible at 61.5%. Confidence in the Hellstar rating system also grew significantly over the three years. The majority of consumers in year two were not confident in the system. However, confidence has increased to 51.4% in year three and continued to almost 70% in year four. Do consumers find the system useful and understand how to use and interpret the Health Star rating system. 76.8% of consumers indicate that the system makes identifying healthier products easier. 72.3% agree that the system makes it easier to compare products participating in the Health Star rating system. However, though comparisons should only be, ma be made between similar products, more than half of consumers in year four, that's 58.2%, wrongly believed that the Health Star rating system can be used to compare products of different categories. Does the Health Star rating system influence consumers to make healthier choices? In year four, 70% of consumers reported purchasing a Health Star rating product in the last three months, with nearly two thirds reporting that the Health Star rating system had influenced their purchasing behaviour. Of those influenced by the Health Star rating system, more than 50% stated that they selected a healthier product. Overall, 23.4% of all consumers changed their purchasing behaviour by selecting a Health Star rating product with more stars. Reformulation is a secondary objective of the Health Star rating system. Monitoring has shown that since the Health Star rating was implemented, there have been decreases in energy, saturated fat, and sodium in products displaying the Hellstar rating system. And little to no change, or in the case of energy, an increase in packaged food products not displaying the Hellstar rating system. There is also emerging evidence of companies reformulating to increase Hellstar ratings through positive nutrients, in particular whole grains and 
fruit, vegetable, nut and legume content. This indicates that the Hellstar rating system is leading to voluntary reformulation. From year one to year four, there was a 9.6 kilojoule decrease in energy content for products displaying a Hellstar rating system, compared to a 2.9 kilojoule increase for eligible products not displaying a health star rating system. There was a 0.1 gram decrease in saturated fat for health star rating system products and no change for non health star rating products. And a 13.4 milligram decrease in sodium for health star rating products and a 2.4 milligram decrease for non health star rating products. Implementation of the health star rating system is progressing well. Uptake is increasing, consumer use and understanding is improving. There is evidence that suggests consumers are changing behaviour in response to the Health Star rating system. Compliance with the system guidance, including accuracy of Health Star ratings, is high. And there is some evidence to suggest that products are being reformulated to reduce risk nutrients. In June 2014, when the Health Star rating system was first implemented, the Australian and New Zealand food ministers agreed that the system should be implemented voluntarily over five years, with a review of progress of implementation after two years. Subsequent to this decision, in November 2015, food ministers agreed that a formal review of the system should also be carried out after five years of implementation. In April 2016, the Health Star Rating Advisory Committee commenced planning for the five-year review of the Health Star Rating System. In September 2016, the Health Star Rating Advisory Committee established a technical advisory group to analyse the performance of the Health Star Rating Calculator and respond to technical issues and related matters referred to it by the Health Star Rating Advisory Committee. The reviewer, MP Consulting, was engaged in July 2017. MP Consulting's approach to the review has been independent, transparent and impartial, and they have provided many opportunities for feedback and consultation with all stakeholders, both written and face-to-face. -face. Over the course of the review, MP Consulting has conducted two public submission processes and held eight public workshops across Australia and New Zealand. They have also held a significant number of teleconferences and face-to-face -face meetings with key stakeholders. The review broadly considered the impact of the system, whether the system has successfully met its objectives, if necessary, how the system, including the algorithm, could be improved, and communication system enhancements and monitoring and governance of the system. The draft five-year review report containing 10 recommendations for the system was published in February 2019 and was open for a final public submission round for six weeks. In November 2019, ministers met to consider the final review report for enhancing the Health Star rating system. The 10 recommendations contained in the report were, one, that the system be continued, Two, that the energy icon be removed from the Health Star rating system. Three, governments, industry, public health and consumer bodies continue to promote the system. Four, a package of changes be made to the way the Health Star rating is calculated. Five, changes be made to the way the Health Star rating is calculated for non-dairy beverages. Six, the Health Star Rating System implementation continue to be jointly funded by Australian, State and Territory and New Zealand governments. Seven, changes be made to the governance of the Health Star Rating System. Eight, enhance the critical infrastructure to support implementation and evaluation of food and nutrition related public health initiatives. Nine, that the Health Star Rating System remain voluntary, but with clear uptake targets and a view to mandate if these are not achieved. And 10, that guidance material be revised and strengthened, providing greater certainty for stakeholders. 
Food ministers noted that the Health Star rating system is a useful tool to assist consumers in making healthy food choices and agreed that it should continue with some amendments revolt, resulting from the review. Food ministers supported the majority of the recommendations contained within the review report, noting that some recommendations require funding support and will need to be considered further in the context of an implementation plan, which will be considered by food ministers in early 2020. In addition to the recommendations considered in the final review report, foreign ministers also agreed to further consider the way that edible oils are treated under the Health Star rating system. Further details and the review report can be found on the Health Star rating website. Like any system of this sort, it is not perfect and there are challenges. By and large, the system is supported by public health groups and the food industry. However, it certainly does not go without criticism. While some of these criticisms have been addressed through the review, it would certainly be impossible to make all stakeholders completely happy. The experience of the Health Star rating system, however, has demonstrated that when disparate stakeholders are included in the process and encouraged to engage in the process, a workable and acceptable system that achieves tangible outcomes can be implemented. The development of the Health Star rating system was subject to extensive consultation over many years. The collaborative working relationships have facilitated strong buy-in during the early stages of the system's implementation. When significant issues have arisen, these have also been the subject of extensive consultation. The high degree of consultation with relevant stakeholders continues to be acknowledged by stakeholders as the strength of the system. The highly consultative approach to resolving issues with the Health Star rating system has demonstrated a high degree of transparency and has largely attributed to the successful implementation of the voluntary system since 2014. The development and implementation of the Health Star rating system approach continues to build on the significant investment and goodwill of industry and others. It is consistent with the principles of best practice regulation and reflects international experience where the majority of interpretive front of pack labelling schemes have been implemented on a voluntary basis. Ongoing stewardship is required to refine the system and to continue to drive its uptake and success. Further information and all relevant reports are contained on the Health Star Rating website. That is Health Star Rating or one word .gov.au. Thank you, Action Network members, for your time, and I'm happy to be contacted with any questions that you might have. <laughs>